Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about how to load data from Salesforce using Amazon AppFlow to Absolver, so using Absolver to do some transformation before loading to Athena for analytics. The first thing that we're going to do is create an AppFlow data source. So by doing that, we're going to click on Data Sources and then New. Here we're going to select AppFlow. From here, I'm going to give a data source a name called salesforce.com and then create an AppFlow connection under AppFlow connection. Next, I'm going to give the connection name also called salesforce.com and then give it a bucket name. The name that you give here is going to have a prefix on it. For this example, I named it salesforce.com. The actual S3 bucket name will have a prefix of app solver dash AppFlow in front of the salesforce.com name. Click on launch integration. Check the acknowledgement box and click on create stack. Wait for a moment for the create stack to complete. Now navigate to your app flow service and click on create flow. For this example, I'm going to bring in the account object data. So I'm going to name it salesforce.com account. Click on next. Here, I'm going to choose my source as salesforce.com, and then I'm going to create a connection to my salesforce.com account. From here, we're going to give the connection a name and click on continue. If you're already logged into your salesforce.com account, you don't need to do this step since I have not. I'm going to provide my username and password and click on login. I'm going to click allow access here. There are many Salesforce objects to choose from. I'm going to choose account. From here, I'm going to choose the bucket name, which is absolver slash appflow slash salesforce.com. This is the bucket that we created from Absolver earlier. Now you can choose how frequently you want your flow to run. You can either choose to run on demand or run flow on schedule. To take advantage of Absolver streaming capability, you can choose to run on schedule, which can be every minute or every five minutes or more. For the sake of keep it simple for this demo, I'm just going to leave it on run on demand. Click on next. I'm just going to map every field from the account object directly to Upsolver, and then we can do all the transformations downstream in Upsolver. Scroll all the way down, click on next. Click on next again. Scroll all the way down and click on create flow. Click on run flow. And wait for a moment for the flow to run successfully. Navigate back to your AppSolver environment and put in your AppFlow flow name and click on continue. Here you can see a sample of the data that you're bringing in. Click on create. AppSolver parses all of your data automatically and then displays data demographics and statistic information so that you can gain a better understanding of your data without manually having to discover it. Now let's write your data to Amazon Athena. AppSolver provides many data outputs that you can't use right out of the box. For this example, we're just going to write to Amazon Athena for analytics. Select Athena and now give the output a name. We're going to call it salesforce.com account and select the data sources that we just created called salesforce.com. Click on next. Here's where we transform the data and map each field to the output. We're going to click on the little plus button right next to data to map all the fields from the source to the output. And then we're going to perform some transformation. Optionally, I can choose every single field that I want to map to the output, for, but to keep this demo simple, I'm just going to map everything to the output and choose double as the output data type. Click on add fields. Now I can see that all of the fields from my Salesforce account object source is mapped to the Athena output. Now let's perform a simple transformation by clicking on add calculated field. Upsolver provides over 200 built-in transformation functions out of the box to make your transformation tasks very easy. For this example, we're going to use a simple to date function to convert the date. Now we're going to put in the data source field name, which is create date, and then we're going to give the output Athena field name, which is created date. Click on save. 
You may also choose to work with the SQL view in Upsolver instead of the UI. Everything that you do on the SQL side will get translated to the UI and vice versa. Now you can see the to date function being generated from the UI reflected in the SQL. Click on run. Fill out your connection information to Athena and table and database information and click on next. Identify how you would like to write your data by leaving the ending ad as never. That means this is going to write as a continuous stream. Click on deploy. Wait for a few moments for the data to start writing to Athena table. If you want to keep track of the progress, you may click on the progress tab. Now switch over to the Athena environment and preview the data that I have just written from uh, salesforce.com via AppFlow and everything looks great. Thank you for watching.